All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of A Pizza to New York. We got some new guests here today. My buddy Mike and his beautiful fiance, newly engaged, Kelly Baker. It's going to be a great episode. Right now, we're actually down in Coney Island, known for Luna Park, known for Nathan's Hot Dogs, where the famous 4th of July uh, hot dog eating contest is. But we're here for the pizza. Which pizza? Grimaldi's. Grimaldi's was originally opened in 1990 by Patsy Grimaldi, who first learned how to make pizza up at Patsy's from his uncle, Patsy Lucieri, in, the, in Harlem. Now, they're an American franchise, so they have restaurants all over the country, but we're here for the, for the uh, location in, in Coney Island. Let's go inside, check it out, see what they're all about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. I get a lot of flack on this show sometimes because I don't have a plain pizza. So it looks like some of y'all are gonna be really happy about this. Now the thing about Grimaldi's, when Patsy Grimaldi was originally decided to open up his own restaurant and pizzeria, he wanted it to be in Manhattan. But because coal fire ovens were banned in Manhattan, he had to open up his restaurant in Brooklyn because he said, I specifically want to make pizza that's coal fire oven. So in 1990, he opened up Grimaldi's and had a coal fire oven pizza. Late 90s, he ended up selling it to Frank Ciola, and Frank Ciola was the one that really franchised the brand, made it a national restaurant, and now, like I said, you can find it all over the United States. So here we go. Mike and I are gonna try this cheese pizza. Please, help yourself first, my friend. And once again, this is gonna be like that old school New York Neapolitan style, very thin. You're gonna love the consistency on this bad boy. You can fold it. He didn't even wait. <laughs> what do you think? What, what do you like about it? Cheese, it's thin. It's not too crispy. It's not too soggy. Right in the middle. All right, cheers. You heard the man. Now, another thing, too. They're also famous for having San Marzano tomatoes imported in from Italy with their pizzas. Cheers. Delicious fresh mozzarella. Very sweet, sweet tomato sauce. Nice, thick, chunky tomato sauce as well. I'm loving it. Clearly, my friend Mikey here is loving it. Might have to ask Kelly a bit what she thinks about it, but it's very good. Love it. Thanks for Maldi's. Okay, folks, this is going to be a good one. The Hungry Man. Crushed tomatoes, pepperoni, ham, sausage, bacon. We got the red side. You also know me, sucker for a white pie, so we also got the white pie right here. Mike, let's go with the white first. Let's do it. This one's hot out the oven. Probably gonna burn the roof of my mouth. Gonna give it a little bit of a fold. Let me know when you're ready. Are you are you gonna eat with a fork and knife? Is that what's happening right now? Give me a sec. Alright, hold on. Peer pressure, folks. Let's do it. Cheers, amigo. Oh wow. Yes. An explosion of delicious succulent meat. Right now, the main dominating flavor for me was bacon, super salty slice, delicious garlic on the white pie. Mike, thoughts, you immediately said, wow, what yeah. do you taste and what do you like? Good bacon, I had sausage, it was, it was very good. It was not too salty, not too sweet, right in the middle. It's yeah. sort of like uh, my prior review, but good nonetheless. And once again, the great thing about these pizzerias is just how toasty and crunchy it is. It's, it's a soft, light dough, the way that they let the, the dough ferment, you know, um, and sit over time but also because it's light, you're not gonna feel very heavy. It's just a delicious pizza, that's what you get. This white pie, cheese was good. I like this white pie a little bit more than regular cheese, but obviously, because you got more ingredients. Cheers. All right, folks. So, we have the white down. We have the regular cheese down. Now, it's time for the tomatoes. The tomato side. Mike, let's do this, homie. I'm a big meat guy, I love meat. I'll tell you what, there's nothing like eating a bunch of meat on a hot summer day and having like the meat sweats during a uh, double date day. So, totally ready to go full beast mode on that. This one's gonna be a much more sweeter slice because of the tomato sauce. Mike, let's dig in, buddy. Oh yeah, ton of like tomatoes, thick tomatoes. That's really, for me, was the dominating flavor. Yeah. Obviously, the, uh, the meat, very succulent, very, has a chewy side to the, also the uh, 
the toasted bottom. It was good. Mike, what do you, what do you think? You like it? I do. Better than the white. Better than the white. Oh, I don't know about that, buddy. But hey, I mean, I respect your opinion. All right, folks. All right, all right. Well, Mike, we've had your opinion. You could stand here and look pretty. Something that he's very, very great at. <laughs> Kelly, what did you think of Grimaldi's? It was really good. Born and raised in New York, and Grimaldi's definitely is top, top five. Without a doubt, whenever you come to Grimaldi's, you're gonna have some great pizza. They make it with fresh ingredients, imported ingredients, in that coal fire oven. The crust is gonna be awesome. The flavor is gonna be great. I could not recommend this place more. And ladies and gentlemen, as I always love to say, thanks for the views, thanks for the subscribes. Check out the book online, 52 pizzerias across New York City, for, for your guide to the top pizzerias you could go to here. And as always, we'd love to say, stay fly, y'all. Peace.